Hey guys, it's Danny. Today I'm gonna attempt to show you how to remove a stick or rotting pseudobulb from an orchid, a symposial orchid, without removing the orchid from its pot. And this is my beautiful Arincolalia starepsium, the beautiful orange cat lay I just purchased. Can we see? The older pseudobulb is rotting. I need to remove it. Now, before anything, if your orchid has just been repotted within the last month, it is very likely that the roots did not have time to attach to any side of the pot or run out of the drainage holes or ventilation holes. So you can remove it from the pot, cut away what you need to cut away, put it back, and the orchid will not be set back or anything. It will not feel that you moved it. If it's more than a month, Hmm, chances are some of the roots are attached to something. So by removing it from its pot, you might break them and the orchid might not like it, particularly if it did not have many roots. You need to prioritize those roots. But there is a way to remove it without getting the orchid out of the pot. So first of all, we need to find the rhizome, which is the structure connecting all of these pseudobulbs or canes. And we need to remove the pseudobulb from the rhizome area. Now, if this pseudobulb would have had other good pseudobulbs further on in the back, I would simply limit myself to removing the pseudobulb at the rhizome level. But since this orchid doesn't have any other pseudobulbs in the back, it is the last bulb, I can remove it by cutting the rhizome completely. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, ooh, there is a root attached to this tag. Okay, I'm gonna let it be. I wanted to give you a better look. I'm gonna do my best. So what I need to do is dig a little bit, find the rhizome, which is the connection between this rotten pseudobulb and the other pseudobulbs right here, and go with a sanitized pair of pruners really at the meeting point right here. And this is where I'm gonna do my cut. Go down and cut at the connection between these two pseudobulbs. Don't cut very close to this bulb, rather chop up the sick bulb, okay? If you need to cut again, cut again. Going there and making the cut. My birds offer a soundtrack, but there we are. This looks perfect. It does not look like I cut any part of the newer pseudo bulb, which I really don't want to do. And it looks like I got everything out. There were no roots for the pseudo because it was the last one. If you think there are roots stuck inside, you might want to consider a repot. But I know for a fact this one did not have roots. This particular orchid didn't have many roots, but it created in the meantime, which is great. It also had an issue with the new growth here. So just like we did with this guy, since the new growth is the end of the orchid, but in front, I can again go ahead in the front and cut this new growth. There we go, just like that. And we are done. Just rearranging a little bit the orchid, making it a little straight. There we go. If you're wondering if I put any cinnamon or a seal or anything on that rhizome, no, I never do. The rhizome is actually very woody and the instances in which it can get infected, not as many. This is a personal choice. If you have the ability to put a sealer there, maybe a little wax or something, you can definitely do so. I am not going to and everything will be okay. Right, so this is how you remove pseudobulbs without removing the plant out of its pot. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you all next time. Bye!